Hi there, this is Brian McAvoy with Inside Out Trading and welcome to this presentation on the psychology of successful trading, understandings and actions that finally move you beyond what's been holding you back. In the next few minutes you'll discover that there is a very simple and straightforward psychology of successful trading. And fortunately it is much more practical than it is psychological. Which is good news for you if you're generally a normal person, which we'll presume that you are. Now pay attention though, if you don't you'll miss the key ingredient that you've been looking for in your trading pursuit. Without the understanding you are about to gain, discipline issues and self-sabotage self will continue to take the fun and profit out of your trading. But let's begin. First, let's take a look at some of the factors that contribute to the persistent discipline issues and self-sabotage. The most crucial has to do with the preparedness of the trader, how well they are equipped to trade, their level of competence and proficiency, and here's why. Now, if you throw a person into a new job without properly preparing them for it, it will be stressful it will be filled with anxiety and the person's confidence will be easily shaken. For the ill-equipped and or unprepared, whenever difficulties or failures occur, doubt, anxiety, hesitation, and other counterproductive feelings come into play. Unfortunately, yet quite naturally, this is where everyone starts off, not knowing much and not, and not with much of anything to prepare them for trading. So they get busy taking in information trying to get up to speed. Of course, with as much information as there is out there, and all the shouting, it takes almost no time at all to hit information overload. Amidst the overwhelm with trying to learn, plus trying to make money trading, a common notion arises. Hey, all I need is a good system and the discipline to stick to it. That's all. So they simplify their focus to find a system that works, having learned really only enough to be dangerous. The problem is they haven't developed the skills to make it work on their own and in a self-sufficient and knowing manner. They go through the cycle of finding something promising, getting their hopes up, and then the disappointment of having lost more money, time, and confidence. And it doesn't take too long before they get tired of not having a way of knowing if a system will work aside from hope, try, lose. They push on with shaky confidence and hope, but also with a great deal of skepticism, lingering doubts, and anxiety. Now here's where an interesting phenomenon occurs. They reach a point where they've seen enough that they feel they have a pretty good handle on what this trading is all about. Find a good system or just keep tweaking the existing one and find a way to stay disciplined. I know there's something I'm missing but I'll figure it out on my own. That notion combined with all the educational disappointments they've had, their growth as a trader plateaus. So they keep beating their head on a rock, having exhausted the answers they've come up with, and from hearing all the same hype from the system sellers. But the problem remains. On top of the emotions, until the person acquires the necessary skills and understanding as a trader, they will also be likely to sabotage any success that comes along. Their subconscious knows that they haven't earned any significant level of success. So when a win winning period does occur, the subconscious will correct the situation and bring circumstances to match the, de the deserved level of success. Now one of the mistakes that many traders encounter is thinking that what is happening are discipline issues when in fact they are self-sabotage. Their subconscious is actually working against them for a variety of reasons. Truth is, there are five different forms of self-sabotage that can greatly interfere with your trading. And if you are not properly equipped with the skills, tools and understandings to trade well, odds are that you will encounter at least one of these forms of self-sabotage. Successful trading free of self-sabotage means that in addition to having a good system, you need a few other things too. You also need the skills, tools, processes, and understandings to know how good your system is in reality, plus how to fix or improve it when needed. Many traders make the mistake of focusing solely on getting their hands on a good system they don't have the means or the skills to know if it's good enough and what to do if it's not, aside from try it and see, which is very costly and not very effective. The problem is that the subconscious knows that an amateur with a good system is still an amateur. When you choose to develop yourself into a properly skilled professional, then your subconscious will allow and even support your success. Now, if you're skeptical at this point, and it's understandable if you are, just reflect on anything that you've done in the past where you were very good at it. Did you have discipline issues, or were you pretty comfortable sticking to what's right? Did you fight hesitation or follow through, or was the execution pretty easy and natural? Were you filled with doubts, fear, and anxiety, or were you mostly confident and pretty comfortable? 
More than likely, once you acquired the right skills and understandings, things were pretty easy and life was okay. Trading doesn't have to be any different. Now let's look at a few facts. During your life, you've probably mastered many activities that were much more complex and difficult than trading. And I'm sure that you are above average in intelligence, as most traders are. Plus, you have demonstrated the ability to achieve at least a modest level of success in your life, or else you wouldn't be in a position to trade. Now additionally, there are quite a few strategies and systems that have been proven out over decades to work, and they're readily available. So it really isn't an issue of your, your intelligence, your ability, or having available methods. Successful trading is certainly not beyond you. It's primarily a matter of acquiring the right skills. So you should focus on training and developing yourself, your skills and abilities as a trader. This is the key component of the psychology of successful trading. But what about beliefs, associations, behavioral and emotional response patterns, you know, all the psychology stuff? Well, here's really the cool thing. As you pursue growth and development and acquire new skills, who you are changes. So your self-image and your conditioned patterns will transform as well. By attending to the primary source, you solve many issues. And really, as a double bonus, both your experience and results from your trading are very likely to transform as well. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and found it beneficial. I've tried to keep it short, but really get the main thrust of it you know, across in just a few minutes. If you have enjoyed it, please take these few steps. Click the Like button above, and also the Share button to share this with your friends, and enter your name and email below. Now, the purpose of the name and email once you click the button below, uh, you'll need to keep an eye on your email inbox for the download link for a very useful and enjoyable report. Plus, on the topic of necessary skills for traders, after clicking the button below, uh, you'll be directed to a web page where you will discover the most important skill there is for traders. In my opinion, in, in my you know, five years of helping traders uh, work past their issues, this is the one skill that is, uh, if you could only choose one, this would be the one to have. So uh, check it out. Free steps right now. Click the like button, click the share button, and get your copy of the report. Cheers.